everyone, Scrapper Sam here. So, we are headed to Big D today. It's a commercial scrap. Hopefully this will be a, a good pickup. We've got some wire and some other materials to pick up. Um, my understanding is they're going to be closing this warehouse and uh, I'm gonna, I've been asked to uh, come over and pick some stuff up or if I would like to come over and pick some stuff up. So that's what I'm doing. First though, I'm going to get some fuel because Scrapper Sam's scrap will be the warehouse now at our secret undisclosed location uh, this is but some of the material that we're going to be scrapping a lot of steel I mean it, it would take me a long time going through alleys and the curbsides and everything else dumpsters it would take me a long time to find this much scrap. This, I mean, basically I'm just going to be loading it and it's right here for me to load. So I've got uh, some stainless. I'm going to try and separate that as I go. But a lot of this is going to be uh, galvanized steel with uh, some stainless and aluminum thrown in for fun. I'm going to throw my stainless in there. And it's a lot. But that's good. We need a lot. I'm going to be sore tomorrow. I am pretty sure of that. All this uh, lifting and stuff, but hey, it's a good kind of sore, right? <laughs> okay, I'll bring you back when we're done loading and uh all right no uh no video for the small scale but we got a pretty good uh total for that and i'm thinking we have probably 900 to a thousand pounds here on steel uh, again they didn't want to buy the coax uh, i don't know What's wrong? <laughs> it's copper and aluminum, but uh, they don't want to buy it. That's okay. Uh. Oops, looks like I've got some more wire here. I sold all that. There's some hiding under this tire. I got to I think I'm going to go to a tire shop and see if I can get it unmounted for not too much money. Yeah, this this uh, this wire they would buy also. I'll see if I can go by there and talk to them. <sighs> mm. 
heavy steel. I can tell you already though that this is going to be a, a new record for uh, weight. It was uh, pretty much the most I can imagine putting on this trailer. out here. Basically just a whole lot of steel, heavy steel. <sighs> Certainly worth more than scrap, but unfortunately, that's what I've got.
going to find a, a tire shop. But that looks like it for uh, our aluminum. I mean, for our steel. I want to go ahead and uh, and check out. See how much we got. All right, so we finished cashing in. We had eight hundred twenty dollars in uh, steel. That gives us forty-one dollars. We had uh, sixty-three dollars and forty-six cents for some wire and Christmas lights. They weren't Christmas lights. It was uh, some outdoor lighting that I had. And then ninety-nine dollars and sixty-five cents for the cast aluminum wire and stainless uh, that we turned in. Most of that, all of that was from the warehouse. So from the warehouse, we had uh, $140 and uh, a little bit for some other stuff. Pretty good day. Uh, total for those three receipts is $204 and some pocket change. So I would say that would be a successful uh, trip to the scrapyard. Wow, that guy's got a big load. Anyway, uh, that'll be it for this video. I appreciate everything that uh, you guys do for me. I appreciate the uh, warehouse manager that hooked me up on a second load of his uh, commercial scrap. Um, unfortunately, I don't think he'll be getting any more because that warehouse uh, is going to change hands. So anyway, it was uh, it was good while it lasted. Um, I'll be doing some more curbside and uh, dumpster diving. You guys are always welcome to come join me for that. <clears throat> and uh, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. And don't forget to uh, check the little bell to make sure you know when a new video is uh, available. And I'll see you in the next one. Scrapper Sam.